One of the things that I'm, uh, where I'm coming from is that we need to reevaluate our self-identity from our, our name, our race, our religion, our income bracket, our life story, um, which I call phantom self, to the realization which this system has sought to keep from us that we in our prime eternal form are simply awareness, a state of being aware. It's sad the way um, some of the alternative media has gone. In fact, quite a significant uh, part of it, particularly in the United States, because people use this term alternative media as if it's like one thing. It's not. It's a vast spectrum of perception and view um, that goes from almost indistinguishable from the, the mainstream right across to well, people like me who are challenging and questioning everything, including the official version of reality itself. And that's fine. People can um, work in their particular area of interest, but the common theme for me that makes it the alternative media, wherever it is in that spectrum, is that it is questioning, exposing, and challenging the official version of whatever the subject area it's operating in. And what I'm seeing since the emergence of Donald Trump is an, a regression from that in terms of uh, significant parts of the alternative media, particularly in the United States. Um, the, the alternative media's basic foundation in relation to politics has been that, in effect, it doesn't matter who you vote for because the same uh, hidden hand gets in. So it doesn't matter if it's Republican or Democrat or Labour or Conservative in Britain, basically the same uh, political class is in control and thus nothing changes. It's actually deeper than that, the reason nothing changes, but th that's fair enough at that level um, as well. Since the emergence of Donald Trump, suddenly much of that has changed. Uh, suddenly Donald Trump, um, this vacuous, um, demagogic um, uh, man who uh, just comes out with stock phrases about everything without any substance, without any um, explanation of how these things are going to be brought about. This man who uh, plays on people's uh, fears, on people's prejudices, um, that somehow this man is going to take on what they call the globalists. Now, one of the things that I'm, uh, where I'm coming from is that we need to reevaluate our self-identity from our, our name, our race, our religion, our income bracket, our life story, um, which I call phantom self, to the realization which this system has sought to keep from us, that we in our prime eternal form are simply awareness, a state of being aware. All these forms and bodies are just vehicles for this awareness to experience itself. Thus, in our prime form, we are all the same awareness having different experiences. I put it like this, we are different points of attention within an infinite awareness. And that point of attention can be the size of a pea or it can be massive, massively expanded. And the difference in the way those two points of attention see the world and see world events and see each other is colossal in um, the way that, that the differences in perception that on the face of it are just random and not connected, but you can see exactly why they're doing it because it's pushing the agenda on. But if you don't know there's an agenda, you don't know where the world's being taken. These just seem like random and often bewildering decisions. I have this phrase, um, know the outcome and you'll see the journey. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the outcome, then daily events seem random. But if you know where the, the plan is to take the world and to take humanity, then suddenly know the outcome and you see the journey. These random events become very clear stepping stones to that outcome.
so much has come out of the shadows um, and it's been put on public display. This is why so many people uh, compared with before have awakened to the fact that the world's not run by the forces and the people they thought it was before, which has been a, a positive outcome of this. But the cult can't avoid that, you see, because when you've worked for such a long time under the radar, keeping secret what you want to do to the world, there comes a point where you actually have to do that to the world uh, and transform it in the way you've been planning all these uh, decades, centuries. And at that point, um, you can't hide it. So instead of hiding it, you sell it as a good thing or as the only thing possible in the circumstances. The people that are actually in, in knowledge and full knowledge of what they're doing is so small. Uh, they have to divide and conquer and play off against each other the target population. I mean, one way of doing that, for instance, is to put some of the target population in uniform to keep the target, rest of the target population in, um, in place, uh, dictated by the laws of the less than 1% ultimately. But when you look around society, you see all these um, fault lines that are there waiting to be exploited. As you say, uh, religion is a classic, playing religions off against each other. Uh, and the alternative media in its, in its most effective uh, uh, way and expression should be realizing that anything that uh, divides is serving that which they say they're challenging. It's fundamental to how we get out of this mess, not by finding solutions to the problems, but by removing the cause of the problem. You know, if the cause of the problem is divide and rule, then um, removing the cause is to come together and to see each other in a different light. Now, what this system is seeking to do because in the shadows, deep in the shadows, um, they know that this is how it is. They're seeking to focus and hijack human attention absolutely in the five senses. So the only sense of awareness, the only sense of perception, the only sense of anything is the world of the five senses. And in the world of the five senses, they are their name. They are their income bracket, they are their race, they are their religion. And everything is apart from everything else. Thus, at the point of attention of I am five sense me alone, the potential for divide and rule is absolutely limitless. And that's why they want us in that state of uh, attention, that state of self-identity. Once you um, re-evaluate our self-identity from I am David Icke um, and who does this that and the other to I am infinite awareness having an experience called David Icke and all the labels that people give themselves they're all experiences they're not who we are then you start to realize that whether you're black or whether you're white whether you're following this religion or that religion is irrelevant uh, to the fact that we're all in the end one consciousness and therefore these positions of division are simply um, states of perception they're not real they're states of perception